Hello and welcome to Hopi Living in the City. My name is Lamon and today's video will be a short but sweet video just showing you around the area here in Palaka where I plan to enclose a Ramada. It's currently being used to park vehicles and store tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some 2 by 8 by 10 pieces of lumber uh, around the sides of the Ramada. And once I have those installed, I'll put um, three pieces going across and then those will be horizontal and then vertically I will put the sheet metal that I brought from Phoenix from Bunger Steel. I will line those up and screw them into the two by eight by tens to secure them. I only got them in six foot lengths because I had done measurements prior and I felt that if I got them to eight, eight foot or seven foot lengths, I would end up having to cut them here on site. And I didn't really want to do that just to make things easier. I got them in the six foot lengths and so what I'll do is I'll put those up and I'll make sure and leave some room on the bottom so that we can put some gravel and maybe eventually <clears throat> some cinder blocks or concrete just to seal the bottom. And also we eventually may put some gravel and cement in the Ramada where the vehicles will park just to make it easier and cleaner. We can also do some work on them in there. And once I put all the sidings up, I will take measurements for the remaining pieces that are uncovered and I can order some additional pieces to go there. I don't know if Bunger Steel cuts them to custom specs. They may or they may not. If they don't, then I'll have to figure out the best and safest and easiest way to get the pieces cut and put into place. Well, we are out of the wind. I wanted to make sure and give you a view. That is the Ramada we will enclose on the west north sides is where we'll do the enclosures. I got the materials here and I need to move the 2500 out of the way so I don't scratch or damage it. Again, I'm sorry for the wind loud I don't have a mic I need to get a mic maybe I'll put that on my list of things to get <clears throat>
You can kind of feel it every time you go through another level or another seat. I've been hitting it with a little bit of PB blaster to lubricate the drill bit. I'm going three inches from the top on each sheet. Blaster for lube. Keep on going.
busted another one. That one was a little bit crooked. crooked. <clears throat> Watch your head. So, it's my second drill bit. Down the line. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on, I'm just trying to hold it straight up. Probably should be wearing goggles, huh? Okay, that one's done. Didn't hit my head this time. Now I need a, a piece here from, to go to the center. What I'm doing now is I'm going to, well, I was going to drill all sheets at 36. I guess I should. Yeah, I'll drill all sheets at 36. That way, all the screws are level on the top, the middle, and the bottom. So, yesterday was kind of not uh, a good time to film, but this side I'll go ahead and put the sheets up today, and the back here, I didn't have my drawings when I left home, I couldn't find them, and so I forgot these were 12 footers. And I got 10 footers. I got all 10 footers. So what I need to do is I need to get one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 footers for the back. And then over here as well, I have, I need to take these measurements if I want to enclose this part here. Today's video is being sponsored by Coca-Cola Zero. guys have any recommendations for holding your your um, drills on your waist like a little
I've seen some used elsewhere. The best way to get these off is without scratching everything. Looks like I didn't measure right. <laughs> you hear that, dude? It's a bad ass Jeep, man.
good thing I measured it out. Um, sorry for the dogs barking. So it needs one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> six to cover this, I may be six and a half. So I'd like to get that side hooked up first. I guess I can line it up on here. Here. That way I can stand up the pieces beginning with this end here. And at least know where everything's going. to get this side up too. That, that way I at least have something to mount this to. Then I can put the siding up because if I put the siding up now, I might end up having to take it down. So Have a ba another battery charging inside, so I'm just having to swap one right now. private holes. Three over here as well, but I'll wait on those because
I can see how this could cause a lot of wear and tear on your battery and your um, drills because you're in and out, in and out. So it's better to have a fully charged. I'm using my belly a lot. wasn't supposed to happen. This one railroad tie is tough, solid, man, dense. Let me try 
sucker, man. I grabbed another drill bit. I think I just left it because I didn't want to go inside. Which I don't have. So I'll just have to put it in. <clears throat> now I can set these pieces in and kind of figure out if they all mesh together. Then I'll figure out the top and bottom because I kind of messed up in my measurements.
start this over here. Little light window. Let's see, I hope two fit under this right. <coughs> We're not too much over overlap or overhang. bit of overhang. If I go over a little bit in the front, see because here that's how much I would have sticking over the edge. See that? So If this could butt up to here, then this could kind of hang over for the next to kind of cover the wood. But if you look at it from back here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces across that's 20 feet so 24 feet should be eight pieces and another 24 feet in theory another eight pieces so that's 16 plus 7 23 pieces i should have enough to go all the way around but i do need to take these back and get some 12 footers, but first I need to measure that. If, if these will work over here, then I don't need as many 12 footers, but let me just check that out. Well, I'm here. Freaking, 
I did give me one of those digital measurement things, tools. That would allow me to not have to mess with the tape measure folding and bending or whatever. So, let's run out of these, run out of these across. Oh yeah, ten pointers will work here. So I need three there, those three can go here. And let me check back there. <clears throat> so it might only be to run to windmill, depending on the pricing. So I don't need to um, return these. I'll keep them and use them for the end there. So basically the 10 footers will go over here. Three, six 10 footers and I need six 12 footers for here. And that'll allow me to use the sheet metal the metal siding to cover all the way around. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. So now I think I should stop overthinking things and just get this situated. Because if I continue to overthink them, then it's not going to get done. So what I'll do is I'll start off um, look at things the middle maybe. Let me check this out real quick before I start making it. So, oh man, I knew I was gonna scratch them. So be careful when you're unloading your metal siding because some of the edges might be kinked downwards. And I did scratch this here. I don't wanna scratch the rest, so I'll have to be more careful lifting them out. So without further ado, Get this bad boy in there. Let me check to see how far I can go. Dandy dandy step ladder to get this all the way up. I guess I could put it on the back side here. Kind of to help me lift it or hold it in place. And something like that should be good. Don't look down there. Because you see where I screwed up. Okay, so now I gotta look over here. Yeah. 
keep this side loose so I can put this one underneath. And then I should address the bottom before I get too carried away. So I need to pop the bottoms out. With the white, you gotta be really careful because it gets dirty quick. I mean, you can wash it easily, but I'm just, I meant like the scratches. Say this is for a private customer. You don't want to jack the job up and get bad reviews. So what I'll do is I'll pop those out and I'll lift up, level it out, and then put them back in. I don't know what I was thinking. Get a match this one for you. Just grab it. Ratchet. Ratchet and a quarter inch bit socket. Yeah, you see that one just broke out. See, only got like so all the three parts got stuck in there. I think I'm going to take a break and get us some more built drill bits.